Hello, everybody. Welcome to the POV Podcast. The point of view of me. I just want to say that I did thought about, like, how do I put this? I thought about redoing my Graveyard Shift Podcast and make it to this. We talk about life and all that stuff. But the Point of View Podcast has a name, Point of View, for a reason. That reason is to give a point of view. I know this is supposed to be a podcast about the e fans, all that stuff. You know, I see on my right hand side when I face the face the computer screen. There's the feds that I want to promote. But I kind of want to branch out. Well, I've been told to branch out, so that's something. And I wanted to talk about everything. Because it's a point because my point of view. So one thing I do want to talk about is how I would say how I got into wrestling, but I'd rather do that if I get interviewed by another person. I I could talk about that story. That story is actually kind of weird. I got into wrestling because I love monster trucks, and then I was playing with some wrestling figures, and then, boom, that's all I remember. I was a wrestling fan. I watched it on TV from 2000, late 2009, 2010, I think. I did play a wrestling game, though. Spider-Man was around 2008, yeah. But that's basically just how I got into wrestling. How I got to e fighting is simple. I watch random stuff on YouTube. I come across Forever in Movement, and then there was e fade two K well Spider-Man was Raw slash two K e fade. So yeah, that's how I got into e fighting. But the full story I would tell when tell as time comes. But. For now, I just want to, you know, just talk. How is everybody's day going? That's good, I guess. But <laughs> I said I guess because just in case somebody said my day was bad, I'd be so I was like, whoa, I don't want to sound like a dickhead. But um, the thing is, is that I wanted to do something dealing with e fades and my life. So I decided to do this. Point of view is going to be my point of view of everything. My first point of view, I need to get this fucking president out of the damn country. <laughs> get this motherfucker out the office and basically just bury the White House and, and freaking um bleach it. Bleach the White House. Put, throw some holy water in the White House and bless it, oh Lord. Uh, we have sinned. We made the biggest sin of, 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 of them all. Now we all going to hell. The biggest sin of them all was, was making this president in this damn office. That's the ultimate sin. And now we can't recover because everybody fucking hate us. The only good thing this president does is, is, is become a meme himself. We are memeing the shit out of him. That's the best thing about it. That's the best thing about his whole four years. We get to we get the shit on him, shit on the president, shoot on him, and be and make him turn into a meme. That's the best thing. That's the best thing why this president is here. Everything else, fuck it. We, I want to kill myself because I'm tired of this damn shit. Anyways, that's just my point of view about politics. My po- well, my well, my main point with politics is that everybody's a fucking dumbass. Everybody want to be a dickhead, and then all of a sudden, we got the only opportunity to get this motherfucker out the office, and then most of the fucking Republicans, besides one blessed old Lord himself, Lord Matt, I'm about to say Matt, whoever the hell his name is. 
I can't think right now because I'm about to just spaz out. Uh, Mitt Romney, yeah. The only blessing of them all. Mitt Romney. Turn his back. He he turned babyface for the for the impeachment. He was a heel and now he's a babyface now. He turned to a babyface after becoming the biggest heel of them all. Well, Trump is the biggest heel. Well, he got I hate you heat in real life. We don't like the character. We don't like the person itself. He's the biggest heel of them all. He doing his job well, but we still want to kill him. This motherfucker got a bounty on his head. How the hell can you get a bounty on it? On the on your head as a president, that's the funniest joint I ever heard in my life. He got a bounty on his head. Why am I talking about politics? I just, see, this is why I have a different podcast. <laughs> this is why I, I talk politics on my graveyard shift. But hell, I'm doing it on point of view because it sounds better. Away from politics aside, let's talk about some things. I still like backyard wrestling. I respect whoever did backyard wrestling because it's one of the things I loved to do when I was a child. And I still want to do backyard wrestling and and professional wrestling at the same time. I think my lip bleeding. But, um... The reason why I still fucks with fucks with back at wrestling because it's really fun. Like, if you're not thinking about wrestling fan type shit, then you will see back at wrestling being like one of the funniest thing of all time. You get to play, you get to become a wrestler without training or doing anything. You get to become a wrestler and just showcase what you like about wrestling. That's why I respect back at wrestling because it's not only just a childhood thing; it's just just fun. It's dumb with some things they do, but if you see the good and back at wrestling, it actually makes people want to become a wrestler. They they started out becoming a wrestler by doing back at wrestling. So what the hell is your thing on your channel with the back at wrestling with Fire Pro, Mal? Simple. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> I was just testing out and like fucking with the freaking textures on the um your kernel hall on Fire Pro and I came across the grass texture and I wanted to use it for something different. I wanted to experiment. Like for real. I wanted to experiment with different things. So I was like, fuck it. I was just gonna do this back air wrestling thing just cause it looks like a back air wrestling setting. Why the hell not? That's that's a thing that I do sometimes. I want to experiment on my channel. Like I'll be honest with you, I want to do a, a animated series on my channel. Well, on my graveyard shit channel, cause this channel is for wrestling and all the other shit. But my graveyard shit channel, I, I'm I'm about to start doing more live streaming. I'm about to start doing some skits, not like humanoid skits, but like. Skits on fire on not fire pro. What the hell's wrong with me? RPG Maker, yeah. Skits on RPG Maker, trailers and all the stuff that I made, and some editing stuff I've been doing, and game development because that's what I do. So, Mal, what is your so what is it with you and your? Some. Mm. I said something, right? Oh wow. What I'm trying to say is that what what's with you and your um ideas? My ideas that I want to to actually start doing is that I want to start making more content, a variety of content. Because I want to not only make the people think that I'm not dead, even though that's rude, 
like I don't want to say that, but I I don't want to I don't want to I don't want, I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want my my little fan base or my little cult following think that I'm just gonna abandon them. So I want to do a variety of stuff like podcasts, update videos, and different editing stuff that I just make post on a channel and just call it a day. It's not lazy work. It's more like just me showing that I'm still alive. <laughs> Why don't you do ranking systems on your efits? Cause I'm that damn lazy. <laughs> well, this this there's different types of laziness. There's Cedric Kennedy laziness where he wanna do rankings to and where and if storylines comes after the storylines comes, it'll be there naturally. And then there's the Malik lazy where like Oh, damn, I just said my whole name. <laughs> this the Mal Lazy. Where, like, I can't not comprehend. When I, what the hell? I cannot do rankings because I don't know, because I'm not that committed to ranking systems and to update it. So I just do whatever I do and just call it a day. <laughs> but that's just me, guys. Like, that's just me. So it's like, Whatever I do, I do it because I love it, and I do it because I just want to get this shit out the way. What is this about your, um, wasn't a question. What is, like, nobody asked me the question, I just think of, like, frequently asked questions, like, whatever people might ask me. And I want to clear things up. Are you going to, the one thing I was told is that do you want to show some of your your calls or edits or wrestlers matches i'm going to start doing that and some other stuff like like skits on fire pro because why not man why not start a storyline but i want to tell you guys something right i had this magnificent idea I was on Discord, okay, like, like, I was on Discord, all right, and I saw a thing that says, Colleague Super Show, I came up, I came up with the idea of me hosting a Super Show for him, like, like, my boy, um, Zulite, like, He's a good, cool person. I need to interview him. I really do need to interview him. But Zulai was like, he was lazy and he tried to do a super show for us, but it was too much, I guess. So I stepped up saying, I could host. So, so, so I stepped up and I wanted to host a super show for them. Because not only am I a nice guy, but I just want something to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I love to contribute to other people's projects. I love contributing my ideas or pitching them my stuff. Oh, shit. Pitching them my stuff just to help them out. I'm one of them persons that would love to contribute whatever I can do. And put my skills to the test. Jesus, sorry for the long um blank. That was just somebody came in my room. That's all. I need. I, I'm not editing this out, please. I'm not editing this out. I hate when people just don't just whatever. I don't care. Anyways, I want. I love contributing to my stuff and contributing to you know anybody to Danny's ideas because it's just the thing that I like to do. I like to contribute. Like I want to like put some flair or test something out so like my thing is this whatever i do i do it for a reason for example when i was you know wrestling cup classic came through the bell off, bell off the bridge let me clear that up real quick let me clear that up real quick when i was playing as kano 
and I threw the belt off the bridge. It wasn't a shoot. I know I was out of line, cause cause I didn't give no heads up or get the consent to do that. That's that, that's that's my fault. But I want to make a storyline out of it. It might not be the best way to do it. And I learned from it, though. I like, I learned from it. But at the end of the day, it's just like... I need to start something. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good answer for me. But, like, let's just go back to the topics of me contributing to shit. Well, let's talk about the Super Show. The Super Show is going to be a WGVU... No, what the fuck? WVGU. Okay. Wrestling Video Game Universe. That universe is going to have a super show that I want to host. And the thing and the name is going to be Master of Wrestling. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because it was one of my old call show big events. Master of Wrestling. So I thought about using that name. You know, try to use that name and make something out of it. Because I just want to do it. Because, you know, making, you know, wrestlers is just, the fuck am I trying to say? (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm just, I am befuzzled and somewhat like, what is it I'm trying to say? My guy, this is ridiculous. Well, okay, 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 breathe, really breathe. What I'm trying to say is this. The Super Show's going to be on, not not on my channel, it's not going to be on my channel. It's going to be on the the main channel of Wrestling Video Game Universe, or WVGU. It's going to be their channel, most likely. I'm going to just make the matches happen, like simulate them. And, and like make them all look good. I don't know who I don't know who, I don't know who's gonna be on the card, but all I know is that like I'm trying to make things happen. Cause it'll be fun. It'll be fun. The next thing I want to do is that I'm bringing about the pride event. You probably heard that a lot. But I'm gonna bring back the Pride events for for the Pride Month, which my dumbass forgot. When isn't it like June? Yeah, Pride Month is in June. So I'm bringing back the Pride show, and I'm just gonna you know have fun with it. Because who doesn't like who like who wants to like who wants to support Pride, my guy? I want to support Pride. My main character is bisexual, so it's like why not give it Pride Month, my guy? It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun to be honest with you. Because making the show when I made it the first time, it was actually pretty fun. It's like I get to col- I get to make stories out of it, like. Saying that one, saying that back in the IWR International Wrestling Grav, I I wanted I hosted a match that's you know for that show. So it's like feature matches, collaboration matches, and all that stuff. But Prime Month is going to be kind of different this time. It won't just be like a zero thing. It'll be probably like a one of my main feds. One of the feds I'm basically running a little show. It's not gonna be a glorified house show. Hell no. It's more than a glorified house show. We're not making that rainbow money, but you know, whatever. It's not gonna be like a Saudi Arabia show. It's gonna be like a motherfucking eventful show. Mark calendars is gonna be June. That's when the Pride event gonna be at. I just need to wait, get 
wait for all the DLC to come out, then use the arena for it. What's my next thing? Um, you probably saw the backyard wrestling show. Well, matches that I just put up. Here's the thing. I'm not doing full show matches for that one. That's just for me. That's just an experiment to test out some of the stuff, like the mods and stuff, just to see if y'all like it or not. That's the only reason why I have that. Test out matches with the mods and just run random matches. When I was a kid, I watch a lot of backyard wrestling. And I want to make a backyard wrestling game. And the thing is with that, it's just so it's kind of difficult to explain this. I wanted to do a backyard wrestling game fed like two days ago. Cause I was listening to some funky ass music. <laughs> The Backyard Wrestling, you know, menu theme song. I was like, why don't I make a Backyard Wrestling show? But then I realized, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> like, what's the point of doing that? Like, what the fuck is the point of actually doing a Backyard Wrestling show when you're you in? It's just going to be a whatever. You can't do it weekly because most Backyard Wrestling shows only has one match. Well, not one match, but only has, like, a show. Not all of them has a weekly show. Most of them has, like, a monthly show. Like the old ESW days. Monthly shows. Sometimes they have two a month shows or whatever. But it wasn't constantly. But now, I'm only doing this just because I was because I was bored as hell. I just wanted to run, run some random matches to put on my channel just so just so just to show that yes. I'm still alive, people. <laughs> I haven't died yet. But yeah, that's just me. What's the next, my guy? Oh yeah, if I can tell you this. Did you know, because I, this is my second time recording this thing, but one of my things I did mention was that back at wrestling and e are alike. Let's sink in. Back at wrestling and e are alike. Why? They live and they die. The company rises and the company dies afterwards. You don't see a lot of backyard wrestling feds that's still, that's still going on. Or should I say the big ones? Same with E-Feds. You don't see a lot of E-Feds you know, running and then they just end it. When I talk about efects, I'm not talking about the gaming efects. I'm talking about the board efects too. Not just the gaming. The board feds, you know, like the message boards, whatever. And role play and um angle feds. They've came and they gone. Same with backyard wrestling. They came and gone. They got original rosters, well, sometimes original rosters, but with sometimes original characters. But at the end of the day, they still, like, they, they still just going up, going down. But that's just me saying my thing. I don't, I wonder what y'all think. Damn. My plans for 2020 is simple. I keep saying this. 2020 is going to be the year of the E-Feds. And I mean it. 2020 is the year of the E-Feds, my guy. The reason why I say that is because... We, need, we got a lot of E-Feds, but not a lot of wrestlers there. But most people wanted to do... Original wrestlers from their own minds, which is a good because you can experiment more on your people than the others who want to join your fed. That's the thing. Like, we literally have a lot of feds, but not a lot of handlers. And I want to change that, my guy. 
Like I want to change that. So once I mean I don't I don't I don't know how I'm gonna change that, but I just know that needs to have change. Like you got the role play Twitters, which I kind of am a part of, but sometimes I'm not. Then you got the company Twitters and all that stuff. But you but thing is things are not being fun no more due to, due to drama. Or scandals or something like that. Like, oh he's a bad dude. Motherfucker, what makes him a bad dude? Oh, I don't like this dude. Okay, and But you're still gonna work with him. See, beefs are just beefs. And in the wrestling business, you gotta squash it. If you if you, if if you don't like a wrestler and you have to work with them, squash the beef and just move on. People take things too literal. Like for real, people take things too literal, and I don't like that. Like, why well, I don't like that because it's just it's a game, my guy. I understand if you say something real negative or something that hurts you. That's another thing. But when it's just role playing, role playing is role playing. As long as you don't cross the line, then you're good. Sometimes people do cross the line. I crossed the line before and I regretted it. I ain't perfect. Nobody is. We just got to have, we just have that, that mindset that we are number one. Speaking of we are number one, I don't think a lot of EFEDs think that it should be called the number one EFED because there's no such thing as that. You get, like, okay, you get a lot of likes, comments, viewers, but you can still have shit wrestling and shit shows. It all, and sometimes, especially in the fireproof community and 2K, the like that like the big companies have all these different names that are people well known of, but their but their product is crap. I'm not digging at everybody. I'm not digging at certain people. I'm just digging at you know just in general. You can be the number one fed all you want. But the thing is, you got to have the good stuff. Such as storylines, like sensible storylines, sensible booking, and sensible at a lot of things. So at the end of the day, it's just my point of view. If I wanted to run the number one e fit and I call it number one, I'll make sure it looks like it's number one. With the with the product itself, the wrestling itself, and uh, all the other extra stuff. But that's just me. Stay away from from, from e fit just anything. Cause the so cause of the number one animator or number one game company, but you but you putting out C plus games and cost the number one, that's just, that doesn't make any sense. Triple A games. Okay, you call them number one because the number one company in the world. But the game is crap. You're not, you're not number one. You're, you're just number 10. Or five. Or you just shit at all. Like, I want to turn away from, from the e to talk about my little things. I'm a game developer and music producer sometimes. But I'm trying to make a fighting game, right? I'm trying to make a fighting game. But the problem with that is that it's certain things I cannot use, certain, some things I can't use. We have this community where we could use like assets, like everybody makes their own assets for everybody else, which is cool as hell. But at the end of the day, it's just like you gotta credit them. I have no problem with crediting anybody for what they made for my products. Hell, they get praise. And like the thing is, just that fact that like I 
really want to make something different instead of making like I want to, like I was going to make a Mugen game, but I don't want to make it to like to, to like every other Mugen game with basic shit and all that stuff. I want to make a game, a fighting game that's not just a Mugen game, or it, or it could be a three D fighting game, two two D point five game, and just make it look fun and unique. I have to use some some pre-made assets just to make it look good. For example, I can make a stage where just nothing but just trees and woods and burning bushes and all that shit. Moses here talking that is talking to a burning bush and then smoking it. Like that could make something like that, but I but I use pre-made assets just for my game. And people will shit on it because it's not that good. But at the same time, you got to respect the fact that he makes something different. People can be really mean. Like, you put all this effort to your game and you just say this game shit. That hurts. But sometimes you got to take it like a man. Back to Ife. I don't think all, I don't think my shows are good. I'll be honest, I don't think all my shows are good. I might have a good match here and there, but I don't think my show is that really that damn good. Above, they just average. I get dislikes so sometimes. I don't know why the hell I get dislikes. <laughs> but at the same time, it's just like, whatever. I move on. But yeah, like, just move on from the stuff. Move on from negativity and just be like, whatever. And another thing I would do, and another thing, right? My little game I'm trying to make is like I have a few ideas for for some games. A game called the Death Bout, which is a fighting game that's basically like any time the fucking fight, you can kill your opponent any time. Basically, it's like a Mortal Kombat, but except for brutalities, you get brutalities. And brutalities in Mortal Kombat just like, well, the nowadays Mortal Kombat just like randomly death from. One move that turns to a deadly move, like a fatality, but it's not. And the stage is going to be, like, randomly, like, stages, like, subways, battle arena, a coliseum, or something like that. You know, just something random. Another game I want to make is, like, a game like Portal. A puzzle game on RPG Maker. You could die in the game because... Portal, you can't hurt the, like, you can't kill any, like, robots, but you use mathematics and science just to clear a puzzle and to not die. <laughs> Another game I thought about is just a generic fighting game. Not generic, generic, but, like, just, I say generic fighting game because, like, most fighting games are just, like, generic. Like, you just beat the person up, you win the match, win the round, all that stuff. But this one's gonna be different. I'm gonna have some generic stuff here and there, but at the same time, I just want to make the game a little bit more fun. Hyper moves, hyper ultras, someone's just, just something fun, something different. But we all know everybody took a damn thing. Everybody, everybody's starting to take to take. Let's kill the opponent. Let's super combo them. Let's let's do an ultra combo. What's the point of being original now? <laughs> What's next on my thing? Music. Me and somebody else is making music. I, I might show I might show it here or I'll show it in another channel, but oh well. We ain't perfect, we ain't good, we ain't bad. We just We just inspired we just inspired people. I need to go back making music again, because that shit was actually kind of fun though. It was actually really fun. But I want to put out that um I really do appreciate everybody who watches my stuff, comment on my stuff, leaving likes and critiquing them. And I want to announce this before I, before I forget. This week, hopefully, this week, when I home alone and literally, you know, able to, like, record, 
I'm going to have an interview with with Erwin two eight one oh eight. I forgot his name. Erwin I R W I N. I think I think I think the, I think that's how you spell it. But he's the um leader. Well, he's the founder and uh, and um owner, not in kayfabe, but like you know, just he's the president who made new new extremes wrestling AEW. I want to interview him. I can't wait to do that. It's been a long time coming, <laughs> but that's just me, my guy. But the thing is, I really do want to do more interviews. I want to. I want to interview Zulai like the Great. He was. He's a cool dude. I want to interview maybe some two K feds, board feds, or fire pro fed owners. Because I need content for my channel. Please help me. And I'm not making money off of this shit. <laughs> but I need to make money. <laughs> but, yeah. Like, everybody has lives. And we all don't just focus on the, the fucking Fed. We do other things, too. I'm trying to do other things. But, hey. The Fed took me over. I might stream today. I don't know. I might stream today. But that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. So. Let me just go back up. Scroll up. Scroll up. I want to. You know. When it comes down to like. Making friends in the EFA community is really hard sometimes. I say it's really hard because, like, people, because if you're like the big boss and you're trying to be well known in the in that little company you're in, it's hard to you know get some relationship going on to like y'all see eye to eye. I think that's how you, I think I think that's 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 how you use it, but basically you get an idea you're scared to like tell somebody about it so you just do it anyways. That's me sometimes. I got like I got a lot of ideas for like storylines, got a lot of ideas for this and that, but it's just so hard to tell 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 tell, tell, to, tell to some people because of the freaking ego and or. They would decline that idea. People don't want to. People don't want to get turned down. That's the thing. That's the overall thing. People don't want to get turned down. People want to be approved. We have a mindset that we want to be approved by this, this, and this. Improve, approve for this idea, this idea, and this idea. And people are scared to get, you know, just say no. People are scared of the word no. I'll be honest, I'm I'm kind of scared of the word no. I'm still kind of is, but hey, I take it like a man because you don't want it to be seem like that you're a sore loser or some shit. No, no, no. So I might tell you guys some of my ideas. Maybe depending on how I feel, I would do some reveal about my ideas, but sometimes I just want to just say it so I can get out of my head. <sighs> what is next for me? I'm not gonna tell you guys the ideas because it's just like, yeah, I'm I'm still debating whether whether I want to do it or not. Only reason why I say I really do it or not is because it's just so hard to. Like you want your ideas to be out there and literally in the public. For example, I want one of my ideas is to do an invasion angle or a, or like collab with another Fed and just talk about them, give them some more you know exposure. But in kayfabe. I'm like, we better than this fed. 
that was a good idea from the start, but now I'm realizing that shit was terrible. Because you got, because if you want to do like in a angle where like a fed talks about the other fed and all that stuff, the best thing to do is to make your fed look better than theirs. Like you don't have to say that we're better than this fed. You got to show it. I would do an invasion angle with another fed, but I, but I'm don't want to do it because. It's not going to be that fun afterwards. But. Yeah. That's just me. What is it with. Having 20,000 championships in one fan. I don't get it. That's just something that, that bugs me sometimes. Let me tell you guys what bugs me. Too many championships. You don't have to. Damn it. And it, NEW does it very weirdly. They have a heavyweight. They have two heavyweight titles, you know, for women and men. Two junior titles for women and men. Two tag team titles for women and men. A UK, a European championship or United Kingdom championship. And something else. I don't know. It's just... <laughs> Here's what I would do. Just to get rid of a belt, merge it with the belt that's the opposite of it. For example, heavyweight and junior, winner takes all, and then call, then like merge the belts together, or unify them. Yeah, unify them. To 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 get rid of the title, unify belts, please. That's what I would do. That's just me, guys. That's just me. So uh, I think I'm gonna get off and find something else to do, or make my game or some sh- something like that. So yeah, I catch everybody on the flip side. I did end this because I'm sick and tired of just doing nothing right now, and just I need to keep my mind occupied. <laughs> so this is a weird episode as hell. It's the weirdest shit I ever did in my life. So. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.